Reverend Wanda Johnson has been pushing investigators to return the last pieces of property that belonged to her late son, Oscar Grant. Grant was killed by a BART police officer. This was 15 years ago. Cron Forest Philippe Jagal has the latest. Signing a property receipt for the two cell phones held in her late son Oscar Grant's possession the night he was shot and killed by a BART police officer at the Fruitvale station in the early hours of New Year's Day 2009, Reverend Wanda Johnson will not go so far as to say this moment brings closure to her family, but certainly relief. It's another piece of my life uh, that has been fulfilled that I have me, having my son's property, and that's all families want. Johnson joined Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price during a news conference in Oakland Thursday. Price previously represented Johnson and her family in a civil case related to her son's killing. Now as DA, Price lifted a hold placed on Grant's phones by the previous administration. Price says moving forward, when cases are closed, her office will work with victims' families to have their loved ones' property returned. There is no justifiable reason that we are aware of why these phones were not returned to her more than 10 years ago. Johnson says she is looking forward to turning the phones on and reviewing their contents. From case files, she knows Grant's last call was to his fiance the night he died. And the final photo was of Johannes Meserly pointing a taser at Grant, the former BART cop who shot and killed him. Messerly was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and served nearly 15 months in prison. His attorneys argued he mistook his gun for a taser when he opened fire on Grant. What that still says to me is that 30 seconds before he knew the taser from the gun and he's pointing it and all of a sudden now 30 seconds later he doesn't know his taser from his gun. Next week Grant's family will celebrate what would have been his 38th birthday. In Oakland, Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.